We recently covered the so-called Inca Road, an ancient stone pathway that stretches an astonishing 25,000 miles across Peru, Chile, and far beyond. Linking countless ancient, as yet unexplained ruins, this enormous ancient road was carved straight through solid cliff faces, along near vertical rock faces, and is an astonishing example of ancient architecture. Although currently claimed as being Incan, and conveniently often overlooked by mainstream academic study, along with the sites it connects, it is clearly an example of building capability far out of the reach of Incan civilization. The Huaca del Sul, an adobe brick temple that, regardless of the clear feat of its construction, along with the currently recognized number of builders involved, is, regardless of these facts, still stubbornly claimed as having been built by the so-called Mochi civilization between 100 CE to 800 CE. Located upon the northern coast of Peru, the temple is one of several ruins found near the volcanic peak of Cerro Blanco. The other major ruin at the site is the nearby Huaca de la Luna, a better preserved but smaller temple. According to academic opinion, by 450 CE, eight different stages of construction had been completed on the Huaca del Sul. The technique was additive. New layers of bricks were laid directly on top of the old, hence large quantities of bricks were required for the construction. Archaeologists have estimated that the Huaca del Sul was composed of over 130 million adobe bricks and was the largest pre-Columbian adobe structure built in the Americas. The number of different maker's marks on the bricks suggests that over a hundred different communities contributed to the construction of the Huacas. Yet, regardless of the clearly astonishing ancient feat that this structure was, largely attributed to be the remains of an ancient pyramid, the facts surrounding the past true purpose of this structure is merely ignored in favor of an attribution to a more modern ancestor. For if it is indeed noted as being that of an ancient pyramid, like many alternative, independent, and often nicknamed fringe researchers have, it would open the door to some controversial questions. One in particular being why would a civilization located at the claimed time within history build pyramids? Just like those upon the African continent, namely upon the Giza Plateau. Why would a culture that had supposedly never met ancient Egyptians just like those ruins found all over Guatemala, and indeed South America, have built these enigmatic structures purely by coincidence? It seems that the evidence has mounted over the years in opposition to such opinion, and these ancient ruins are simply improbable to have merely come about by chance or coincidence, and were indeed once built with full intentions that are now lost to the eons. Who built the Huaca del Sul? Why did they build it? It is undoubtedly an astonishing ancient ruin, one which we find highly compelling.